So in this video I take you guys over the top 5 gaming CPUs you can buy under 200 bucks for early 2017 to maybe late 2017. So these are the CPUs that can get you the best bang for your buck performance and if you are under a tight budget and want up to 1080p or even 1440p gaming, these are the CPUs to look at. So give this video a massive thumbs up, join the squad and let's get started. Hey what's up guys this is Yusuf here from Technoids and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and today I'm taking you with the best 5 CPUs which I think are the best for bang for your buck and best performance for dollar under the $200 price bracket. So these CPUs are really good for gaming at 1080p and 1440p resolutions in modern AAA titles when paired with good graphics cards and also you can expect some good content creation such as video editing and uh, music production capabilities from the PC you built using these CPUs. So these all are under 200 bucks and all these CPUs will also be linked in the description below to Amazon US. So those are affiliate links. So if you buy from those, it helps the channel out, gives a small commission and in turn lets me make more videos for you guys. So with that all being said, let's get to the countdown. So at number 5, so the CPUs are in the lowest to highest price order and they also you know, offer performance in the same order. At number 5 we have Intel's Pentium G4560. Starting off at only $73, this is a 7th gen KB Lake CPU which works on the LG1151 socket. It has Intel HD Graphics 610 so a standalone good productivity CPU so even if you don't want to pair it with a graphics card, you can't expect much of gaming performance but you can do productivity even without a graphic card. This comes clocked at 3.5 GHz and supports Intel's hyperthreading. It cannot be overclocked and it has only dual cores but hyperthreading th hyper helps it to you know, assimilate virtual cores and play games. So it should be compatible with most of the modern AAA titles. And it retails for only 73 bucks. And if paired with a good 1050 or 1050 Ti or even a better GPU, you can have a solid 1080p gaming PC. At number four, we have the Intel Core i3 7100. So this is the uh, entry level i3, a seven gen processor again, works on the LG1151 socket type, comes with Intel HD graphics 630. So a little better if you don't pair with a GPU. Comes clocked at 3.9 GHz, still has dual cores and also has Intel's hyper threading for only $116. And this is also a really good gaming and productivity CPU. If you pair with the RX 460 or again a 1050 Ti, you can expect some amazing results in terms of gaming and video editing. And this is also a really good CPU if you are under the budget and want some good performance. And at number 3 we have AMD's Ryzen R5 1400. So here starts the quad core and overclocking game. It comes with the stealth cooler clocked at 3.4 GHz with AMD's precision boost and retails for only $169. Comes with quad cores and 8 threads so it works really well for video editing and multi-threaded tasks such as rendering and 3D modeling. And this is the cheapest uh, CPU if you want to do content creation, live streaming and all that kind of stuff go with AMD. It also supports overclocking and works on the AM4 socket type. So if paired with a good 460 or 470 or maybe even a 480 you can expect some 1080p to 1440p gaming while over 60 fps in modern AAA titles. And this is really good in terms of bang for your buck or performance for dollar CPU. At number 2 we have again continuing the team red uh, theme we have AMD's Ryzen R5 1500X. Retailing for only $189, so only a $20 price bump from the $1400. This again comes with the RGB Spire cooler, so it also gives off a good look. It's clocked at a healthy 3.7 GHz with AMD's Precision Boost technology. It also supports overclock and comes with 4 cores and 8 threads. But one downside with these AMD R5 CPUs is that they don't come with an integrated GPU. So in, if you're looking to game or even use these CPUs, you have to pair them with a GPU compulsory. So GPU is necessary. So keep that in mind while you're building and keep that in your budget as well. Because without a good GPU or at least without a GPU, these CPUs will not work. And for $189, a really good CPU for you know multi-threaded tasks such, such as gaming, uh, sorry, video editing and also a really good gaming CPU. At number one is my best budget CPU, it's the Intel Core i5-7500. Works on the LG1151 socket type, comes with Intel HD Graphics 630 and retails for exactly $199. And it comes clocked at 3.8GHz healthy clock speed, it's not overclockable, 
It comes with quad core, so it's maintaining compatibility with most of the modern AAA titles and also supports Intel's hyperthreading. So these quad cores act as octa core in the CPU and perform really well for video editing, gaming, live streaming, and all that kind of stuff. This is the best bang for your buck performance CPU if you're under a budget of thousand dollars or exactly thousand dollars. If you want to build a PC for like eight hundred, nine hundred dollars, this is the go-to CPU. And that should wrap up our list for the top five gaming CPUs under two hundred bucks. If you enjoyed this video and if you're interested in seeing more, hit the like button and get subscribed and join the squad. As I said before, don't be shy. Many good videos coming your way. And also leave some good comments down below. Feedback is always appreciated. And all the parts or all the CPUs mentioned in this video are linked in the description to Amazon US. So if you are thinking of buying any of these, don't forget to use those links as it gives the channel a small kickback. And thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.